but there's this idea that if you're educated, like you're just good to go and you don't have blind spots. And we see with Amy Cooper, but that's not always the case, right? So there's, there's a need for us to educate people because we expect that our classmates are going to graduate and become leaders. to have a, a safe space with folks who also, and again, in this context, it was a, a call full of presidents for, for, for the vast majority of the folks that joined the call. So people who understand not only what it's like to be in community at Wharton, but also what it's like to be a Black person in court in America. There's just a, a, an extreme understanding of the adrenaline rush and the challenges that come with having to get something like that off the ground. And I, I know a lot of black communities at MBA programs band together and do similar things. But for me, like Wharton is incredibly special and I cherish it. And I think when we have students who come in and see what this community is about, they really do value it as well. Particularly within the black community, but this also applies to other communities as well, um, that while we understand that the value of the Wharton MBA is is extremely strong. Systemically, there are a lot of barriers that might prevent people from even feeling comfortable pursuing um, higher education, MBA or beyond, um, and that that really needs to be taken into account. And again, how can we as business school students check our privilege at the door and use that knowledge to kind of make sure that we're being actively anti-racist moving forward?